Thank you for purchasing from Garbage Commander. Happy to bring these videos of how to install our products. Thank you for purchasing our products. Today is going to be the assembly of the dual can ball mounted hook. Your packet should have one 12 inch center arm that will have two holes in the face and then a single hole on the top along with two 16 inch side arms that will have three, one, and three. You'll have two retainer brackets, rear retainer brackets, four sets of hooks that are all identical, a ball mounting base, your nuts and bolts, a 3 8 PTO clip for that, and two quarter inch by quarter inch PTOs for fastening the handles to the retainer bracket. The tools you're going to need are going to be in any combination, but you're going to have open end wrenches, either 7 16 9 16 for this one, or a socket set of 7 16 9 16 or a combination wrench. Assembling the double arm. The double arm will have a center part and two 16 inch side arms. Very simply, the center arm has the hole on one hole on the top, it has two holes on the face. Those two holes in the face will mount up with your two side arms. The arms, the 16 inch arm, will overlap the top of the 12 inch arm. For a 40 inch setting, you'll use these two holes on the arm, obviously, and the two holes at the outer edge. For a 36 inch arm placement, you'll use the two inner sets of holes. Now a hook can be put in any one of these positions when we get to that part. So right now let's assemble this one for a 40 inch. We'll take our inch, um, inch by quarter inch bolt, lock washer, and quarter inch nut. And what we're going to do is just lightly tighten it because we're going to go over to our cans in the next step to make sure that we have our hook placement correct. So again, we're going to use the two inner hole, outer holes here. Seven sixteenths open end wrench and seven sixteenths socket. Just lightly tighten them up so that we can make sure that this is where we're going to want them. Now we're going to take this arm that's half assembled and we'll go over to our garbage cans and put it on there and make sure we put our hooks in the right placement. Now that we have our hook partially assembled, we're going to find where the hooks are best suited to go on the arm. Keep in mind we put this temporarily at 40 inches. Now would be the time that you may have to take this off, move it in, and try a 36 inch setting so you can get the optimum hook arrangement. Basically what we're going to do is hold the, hold the arm in center, and I like to take four pieces of tape and notice that there will be a hook placement here, and we can use either one of the holes in this case, but we're going to use the outer hole. Same thing here, we got an inner hole, it's the third one in, and the outer. I also like to find out that for the people that are going to have every other week pickup, where one week you have two, one week you have single, the ability to haul one can using just the center inner hooks. And in this case, we don't have any adjustment, we don't have to try anything different because our hook will be here and here and it does fall in between. So we're all set now to put the hooks on. Now that we have our arm marked so we know where our hook placements are going to be, the next step would be 
is we still have to fill in. We know that we're going to be using this outer hole for one of the hooks, leaving one hole open that actually is part of the 12 inch arm and the 16 inch arm. So let's get that one tightened by putting a nut and a bolt. So you're starting out with your same uh, bolt and washer and lock nut. And first step, we just left them kind of snug, but then tighten them. So let's go ahead and tighten them. Now, the assembly of the hook, we have the rear retainer. You get two of them for a double and one for a single unit. I like to put the retainer brackets on the inner hooks so that when you're going to haul one single unit or a single can to the uh, pickup, you'll still be able to fasten it. Keep in mind, we do sell extra that if you want to put one for or have two for each handle, they can be ordered in pairs or singles. So let's mount the inner hook first. Take your hook, your bolt, and on the bottom side there's a little tab. That tab goes underneath the bottom of the arm. So it's very simple, it tucks up underneath, hold your bolt, take your retainer bracket, slip it behind and under the arm, add your lock washer and your nut and just snug it up nice. With the outer hook that we're not going to put the, the bracket on, just simply put the bolt through. Same process, that return flange will be underneath. Go over and do the other side the same. Now, some people have asked about the hooks. There is no left or right with the hooks. The hooks basically are all going to be four or going to be identical. Go back and just make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight, but that's the assembly of the double arm. Now that we have our assembled double arm, we're going to mount it to our receiver, our ball receiver base. Very simple. The two flanges will be up and tucked up underneath the bottom of the support arm. So we'll take our 3 8 by 2 inch bolt, put it through the top, and then just slip our ball mounting base tucked up underneath the bottom side, a 3 8 washer, quarter inch lock nut, washer and our bolt. And we're going to use our 9 sixteenths. Just snug it up and get it tight. Once tight, we're set to mount it to our car, vehicle, and we'll use the 3 8 pin to mount underneath the ball. To show you, we have a three. We have a seven eighths, one and seven eighths, or a two inch ball. Your product will slip underneath, tuck up on the bottom side. The three eighths pin will tuck underneath and behind, and that'll allow it still to pivot, and you're all set. Again, I want to thank you for purchasing our products. And remember, hashtag rest of the can.